Mbulelo Old John Mabizela is a retired South African professional footballer who played primarily as a defender but he did sometimes play in the midfield. Hello and welcome to Red Live. Mbulelo Old John Mabizela started his playing career using his mother's surname Old John and it is reported that later he preferred the surname Mabizela, the surname of his father Dumisani Mabizela who also played soccer for Amazu. So it would eventually be known as Mbulelo Mabizela. Old John was now often referred to as his nickname. His professional senior career started in 2000 when he was playing for the national first division team Meritsburg City, a team where he made about 37 appearances and scored 6 goals. A season later in 2001 he caught the eye of a PSL team Orlando Pirates where he made 51 appearances and scored 4 goals. With the talent that he had and his career being on the rise, he caught the eye of Tottenham Hotspur in England and he made a move to Tottenham in August 2003. He didn't make many appearances for Tottenham Hotspur, I do believe he made about 8 appearances in total and scored 1 goal. In October 2004 he had his contract cancelled by Tottenham Hotspurs and was released by mutual agreement following several disciplinary infractions including missing training sessions. After his release from Tottenham Hotspur Mabizela did train with London based Fulham however he was rejected by the club and the reports are that it was because he was considered overweight. In March 2005 he joined the Norwegian club Valeringa and spent that season at the Norwegian club where he played infrequently but he also won the national title with the team. In August 2006, he made a return to South Africa signing to Mamilodi Sundowns and a couple of months later in December, he received a six-month ban from the game for drug offenses. His stay at Mamilodi Sundowns was also full of disciplinary problems including a car accident and an arrest for drunken driving in the late 2008. And in the January 2009 transfer window, Mamilodi Sundowns made him available for transfer at which point he signed a three-year contract contract with Platinum Stars. His disciplinary problems that he suffered at Mamilodi Sundown seemed to have followed him to Platinum Stars and in July 2009 his contract was terminated after he failed to show up to training. However that was the time when Platinum Stars got a new coach Steve Compella and coach at the time Steve Compella gave him a second chance they reached a new deal. In May 2011 Platinum Stars announced that they would be doing a major clear out of a number of players including Mabizela who then became a free agent. Now during that time he was linked with a number of clubs including Golden Arrows, Orlando Pirates. However, on the 11th of August 2011, Mabizela signed a two-year deal with Bidvest Vitz on a free transfer. And at the end of that season in May 2012, Bidvest Vitz held their year-end season's award evening and Mabizela was named the club's player of the year at that function. So the next season, the 2012-13 season, Mabizela requested that he be released from his contract with Bidvest Vitz. The club had a press conference in which a statement was released that read, we have advised Mbulelo Mabizela and his agent that he is not part of our plans for the remaining duration of his contract with us and that we will consider offers from other clubs for his services during the forthcoming January transfer window. And on the 20th of January 2013, he joined Chipa United on an 18-month contract until June 2014 and it was reported that his plan was to help save the team from relegation by the end of the season. However, Chipa United was relegated during the 2012-13 season and and Mabizela was released at the end of that season. And in 2013, he joined Mpumalanga Black Aces. However, it is reported that he was frozen out of the squad in October after falling out with manager Clive Barker. And this also included a bust up with the veteran coach and he was released in December based on recommendations of a disciplinary inquiry following his misbehavior. And on January 2015, Mabizela signed a short-term contract with Amazulu. It is claimed that the challenge of getting out of the relegation zone appeal to him. However, Amazulu failed to avoid relegation and he was released. International career. Mabizela made 45 appearances for South Africa Bafana Bafana and scored two goals during those appearances. He made his appearances between 2001 and 2008 and at the age of 22 he became the youngest captain for South Africa Bafana Bafana. With regards to Bafana Bafana, he was also in the headlines close to the FIFA World Cup in 2010. It is reported that he was claiming that he should be in the Bafana Bafana team and that he was better than the defenders that were chosen in that team. However, the manager at the time, Carlos Alberto Pereira, was unmoved by his comments and stressed that the behavior of the players was part of the decision of their selection.
fiction. So what happened to Mbulelo old John Mabizela? The tale of Mabizela is now a cautionary tale that reminds you that you should have discipline in and off the field if you want to maintain a long and prosperous career. Because I do believe that it is abundantly clear that talent was never his issue, it was more his discipline in and off the field. And all his antics, especially the ones that were off the field that he did, caused them to be in the news for all the wrong reasons. And such things would give you one of those soccer bad boys images, which is definitely not a good look if you want a long and prosperous career. He is currently 38 years old and had a football career career that spanned about 15 years. He has since retired, hanging up his boots for the last time after he was on the books of Royal Eagles. Late last year there were some reports that he was planning on writing a book, a sort of like tell all tale kind of book. It is not clear when the book will be out but Mabizela promised that it will be a good read. Everything that happened while I was playing will be published in the book and what actually led to those incidents. This book is about me. I want to tell my story, said Mabizela. And he says that I believe my story can help other players to do better than I did during my playing days. He also went on to say that I have a number of regrets in my life but I think the one that tops the list is my behavior. And the book is going to reveal how my behavior affected my career. I won't say much right now but I promise it will all be in the book. Reflection is definitely good and admitting that you did something wrong and acknowledging your problems is also a good sign. Hopefully the book does well, can't wait for that to be released and as always thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.